All right. This is the dime test. This is how you uh, set the timing on your KitchenAid. Uh, well, actually not the timing, the, the balance of your KitchenAid. Um, to see if your paddle is reaching the bottom properly and not scraping by exactly the way it's supposed to be. Okay? My next vlog is on the timing. But anyway, so what you do is you take this dime and you drop it in there. Okay? Now, get the camera directly over the bowl. Now you'll notice the bottom of the bowl has a dimple. Now I'm going to show you this real quick before we start this. See, there's a dimple in there. See how it's a point in a dimple? Okay. You can't see it because it's got a flat bottom over here. But it's got like a donut there. Now that's where the blender is supposed to be going around the spinner. So you put a dime in here. Make sure it's clean. Any grid or anything in there. And put your bowl, lock your bowl down. Camera back so I can lock the bowl, please. Thank you. Okay, now you put this down and you lock it up here. Turn your lock on so it holds the head down. Now we're going to turn it on slow. Now we're going to look in there. See how that dime only goes a little bit around? Now, if you put that in your mixer and it doesn't move, then your your mixer blade is too hot. If it's grinding that around real fast, then you need to set your mixer blade up. But you notice how it just kind of, every once in a while, it moves. You see it? Put the light in there so you can see it better than that. The light. doesn't have the light. You see how only sometimes that moves? You turn on the camera. I wish you were going to do that. So that just moves every once in a while. So that's pretty good. Alright. That's the dime test. So, I'm going to show you how you adjust it. Unlock the head. Now, that back there, you take a flathead screwdriver like this. You unplug the machine, just in case. And you will take, if you take this off, Okay, then you can get in here and you turn it just like a quarter of a turn this way or a quarter of a turn that way. You see which works better for you. Then you put the blade back on and you retest it. Okay, so that's the dime test. That's how to make sure that this is hitting the bowl right. Okay, and not grinding in the bowl and wearing the tip out. 
okay, or not touching and not mixing your stuff that's on the bottom because it's kind of a elliptical effect the way it turns. It really actually goes around the bowl, not just spinning like this. It goes around. All right, so there's your dime test. Say 10 cents. Used to get you a cup of coffee or a phone call, but not anymore, but it'll fix your kitchen aid. There you are. 10 cents and a flathead screwdriver. That's what's up.